There's a subreddit called Anti-Work. Now, I've been a member of this subreddit actually for 31 years. So, uh, as one of the founding members of this subreddit, I've wanted to watch this uh, ever since the second that I heard about it. I'm going to watch an interview that apparently was done on Fox News a couple days ago with one of the mods of this anti-work subreddit and see him take the uh, fascist Nazis on Fox. We're going to see him take them to task. All right, so Doreen, why do you like the idea I'm gonna turn, of I'm gonna over scroll 1. back. 1.6 million subscribers? And joining me now is the person who operates this anti-work group, Doreen Ford. All right, so Doreen, why do you like the idea of being home, not working, but still getting paid by corporate America? Because you can play video games all day and you don't have to do anything. Like, how is this a, how, like, what, is this like a, a, a secret? Uh, I, I'm, I'm just confused. Like, what the hell are we talking about? Is this a woman? I don't care what their gender is. That's not even part, it, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to hear what they say. Yeah, it, it, it could be a, a chicken. For all I know, they identify as a chicken. Yeah, uh, so there's some misconceptions about the movement. Um, yeah. So we're a movement where we want to reduce the amount of work that people feel like they f they're forced to, to do. Um, and so yeah. we want to still put in effort. We want to put in labor. Yep. Um, but we don't want to necessarily uh, be in a position where we feel trapped. You know, um, you just quoted from Office Space where that person feels very trapped in their job. I think we're calling for a society where there's less he didn't, of that. He didn't compare him to Milton, did he? <laughs> oh, I didn't, he didn't compare him to Milton. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Really? Oh, my God. I bet he did. Look at his face. A hundred percent he did that shit. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, dude. Um, but, yeah, absolutely. People still want to do things. They just want to do things where they feel rewarded and they feel like they're in a good spot in their life uh and that their yeah. job respects them and stuff like that Duh. um you know there's varying so you're on the, so uh, doreen but you're not being forced to work this isn't this isn't slave labor you, you've you've applied for a job you've agreed to the terms and conditions of the employment and you know you can walk away from that job at any time and quit so I don't understand yeah, really what this is about, sure. except it sounds like maybe people are just being lazy. Are you encouraging people yeah, sure. to be so, lazy? Yes. Yes. That's the whole point. Yes. See, this is, uh, they should have interviewed me. They should have interviewed me for r slash uh, anti work. Because I guarantee you, I've probably been r slash anti work longer than this kid's been alive. Which, by the way, reminds me a lot of Carson. I don't know why he just does, and that's kind of weird. Uh, so listen, like they should have done, because like that's the obvious truth, right? Is that people do, people do want to be lazy. They don't want to have to work their ass off for something that they don't give a fuck about. That's the truth. It's like people, you know, this is like the kind of uh, song and dance that you play with an employer where they say, why do you want this job? Bitch, I want money. But you have to say that you care about the company. And I don't want them to tell me that they care about me because they're lying. Like, let's just get right down to it. You want me to move the boxes, and I want your money. So you give me the money, I move the boxes. <laughs> Boom, that's done. Finished, completed, deleted, yeeted. That's all there is to it, right? And the truth is that uh, the hashtag, I'll give my full take on this whole thing uh, afterwards. But as you guys know, I am a, a big proponent of uh, anti-work. I'll explain why at the end of the video. Um, so I think laziness is um, a virtue in a society where yeah. people constantly want you to be productive 24-7. Yep. And it's good to have rest. Yep. Um, that doesn't mean you should be hours a resting day. all the time or not putting effort into things that you care about. Like but I think games. one of the What do you think is like a work? good work day? How many hours is, is you know, a solid well, let's work measure day by in, minutes in your ideal instead. society? Right. How about minutes? Uh, 
Sure. Three. I mean, I think as much as people want. I mean, I personally uh, work. I have I have like as a 20, 25 want? hour work weeks, None. which I think is fairly good. Um, so I would like less work hours. Um, and what I do you do, Doreen? Feel, oh, I'm a dog walker. A dog walker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And how? Uh, yeah. So how I old are you, if meat. you don't mind me asking? Sure, I'm thirty. You're thirty. Okay. No way, you're thirty. And is there something you want to? Like, do, would I look that young if I shaved my beard? That's cr bro. I thought he was like nineteen. I straight up thought he was nineteen. No shit. Dog walking at thirty? Who gives a fuck? Like, I'm telling you, man. Like, there are these dudes that, like, whenever I walk to the store, they are dog walkers, and that all of them have long hair. Every single one of them has long hair and they smell like weed and they walk the dogs and there's like 10 they're walking like 10 dogs at a time and i see them all the time each one's walking 10 dogs at a time and they're on these like little scooters they're like these hoverboard scooters that you don't need to hold on to it's like a, a skateboard that is like motorized so they're just sitting on this motorized skateboard and on one hand he has all the dogs and on the other he has his phone and he's listening to tame impala and they're walking the dogs and having the dogs pull them on a skateboard uh that's motorized and they're just walking around all day so like you want to talk shit about being a dog walker i think that's not too fucking bad I mean, it's really not too fucking bad. And the fact is, like, the the good thing is the interview is saying precisely why the anti-work became a movement. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, I, I'll finish it. I'll finish it. But, like, all I'm saying is, like, being a dog walker is not necessarily the worst thing ever. And, like, that's the that's the lifestyle. I mean, get high, have some dogs pull you around, listen to Tame Impala, and uh, eat, uh, eat Funyuns. I, I mean, come on. Do besides being a dog walker, do you aspire to do anything more than dog walking, or is that kind of your your pinnacle? Dog fucking. Uh, I, I love working with dogs. If I had to do this for the rest of my life, you know, I wouldn't be super complaining. You know, dogs are wonderful animals. Uh, but I mean, I would love to teach. Uh, I would love to, um, teach. you know, uh, work with work with people and well, stuff like that. What would that. you yeah. teach, Dorian? Uh, a philosophy mostly. Philosophy. Just introduction to philosophy, critical thinking reason stuff like that okay well i would love to take your class doreen i would just be taking notes the whole time and you know what a professor is a very similar schedule than something that you're imagining so i think that actually might might work perfectly for you listen uh i think this might not be the greatest idea but who am i to judge to each their own they say it's a free country sure not yeah. everything's uh, free you know but it is a free country. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure we got to run. We got to pay the bills. So like, yeah, the interviewer is an asshole. Well, of course he's an asshole. Absolutely. He's an asshole. Like it's Fox. You understand? Like they're all assholes. But you remember like this guy is a, he's a nice guy compared to Bill. Imagine, imagine if Doreen was being interviewed by Bill O'Reilly. Okay. You want to sit around and be like, oh, he's so mean. No, he's fucking not. I don't even know that Jesse Waters, is that his fucking name? Uh, this guy is being nice. Okay, Bill would have shut off this kid's mic, muted him, and talked over him while he was muted. And then at the very end of it, he would have said, do you have anything else to say? As soon as the guy started talking, he would have shut him off the interview and said, we don't have time for you anymore. You know, some folks need to make a living here. We'll do it live. Yeah, exactly. That's what he would fucking do. Bill would shit on this guy. Yeah, the thing is that, listen, I, I find it to be kind of funny that Fox News and the people that work at Fox News can be so condescending and obnoxious and cringe and disconnected and just in general rude and not to mention kind of stupid that they can make a person like Doreen seem a little bit sympathetic because of how stupidly he's being treated. Uh, I, I think that, like, yeah, obviously, like, how easy would it be to come on here and make this guy look like a dumbass? And this guy somehow came out looking like an asshole. But that's the thing, is that that's the audience that uh, Fox News has, right? They don't want to uh, 
have the guy look like like you can make this guy look like a dumbass so easy it's not about winning an argument it's like what i said before about on like twitter right you don't in order to beat somebody in an argument on twitter it's not about being right it's about making them look stupid and as soon as you can make them look stupid then that's all you have to do you see what i'm saying look like a dumbass to any normal person with a family to support well he doesn't have a family to support he's just a 30 year old dumbass he's a 30 year old dumbass dog walker that spends all day moderating reddit it is what it is that's what it is that's what it is like you know it i know it everybody knows it like i mean there you go i mean people gonna live their life they're gonna think the way they're gonna think uh my opinion i've always actually been uh in favor of the r slash anti-work as I've said before, I think automation is going to take over the majority of our jobs. I think that uh, in time, many of the service industry jobs will be replaced by robots, and we will reach a point of automation where a job is no longer an expectation for an average adult. And I think that we need to be developing society in a position and in a direction to facilitate that whenever it happens. Because I think you can really see, uh, yeah, universal basic income. I'm a big fan of this. I think it's not a, uh, this is not a, uh, th this is a, it's an inevitability. I think it is truly an inevitability. Uh, because it's either that or some form of neo-feudalism where people live effectively like Doreen does, ironically, as effectively slaves. Because guess what? I wonder how much do you think this person makes? Not a lot of fucking money. And there's a lot of people whose job it is nowadays to perform menial tasks for people that have more money than them. And this will just continue to happen. Uh, the extremes of society, the, um, what's it called? Is it the Gini Index? I'm trying to remember what it is that, uh, is, that measures the difference in wealth inequality and the difference of wealth in like the, uh, the highest percentage and the lowest percentage of the, uh, of the population. Uh, the, it, it gets bigger and it's actually bigger now than it ever has been. And the fact is that it will continue to be the case. Uh, poor people are getting poorer. Rich people are getting richer. And most people are okay with that because they think that they're going to be rich people one day. That's what happens. And it's been going on for 50 years, uh, 100 years now, really. I'd say 50 years in our current culture. And um, I'm very much in favor of the perspective of hashtag anti-work, to be fair. I really don't think this is a very good representative of hashtag anti-work or r slash anti-work. And maybe all of the people on r slash anti-work are, are morons. I don't know. But that doesn't really change the perspective that I have. Uh, I think that intentionally Fox News brought this person on because they knew that, uh, that you know, they look weird. They act weird. They uh, talk like a they talk like a moron. And it's going to play well into their audience. They're not going to bring on someone who's well-spoken, who can talk about the inevitabilities of automation. They're going to talk, they're going to bring on a 30-year-old dog walker who can't look at the camera and is shaking back and forth because it plays into the narrative that the people that are of this mindset are dysfunctional. And they brought him on for a slam dunk. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they've done this before with other people too. Uh, this is usually just what happens. So uh, yeah, use it because they don't want a job. No, you're definitely right. But Josh, you're 100% fucking right. Most people that are on r slash anti work do not, you know, these people have not really thought about automation a whole lot. Uh, these are people that just don't want to work. It's actually that simple. It's really that simple. There it is. They just don't want to work. They don't want a job. And my opinion is who would blame them? I mean, I, I didn't want a job either. Uh, I worked at the IRS temporarily for, you know, two tax seasons and worked very temporarily at Sam's Club. But other than that, uh, you, you know, I kind of like to do my own thing. I mean, you could say that, I mean, it is a job that what I have now. Uh, but at the same time, it is, you know, not the same thing as clocking in to a business and having people dictate your hours to you. Uh, you have a lot more control. Working fucking sucks. At least I work remote, make a lot of money. Next best thing, there you fucking go, dude. Isn't implementing UBI going to give more power to the 1%? Who's going to pay for it? 
well of course the one percent is going to have more power i mean of course they are but it's the difference between them having like what do you think they're going to have more power if nobody like of course this gives them more power but power is consolidating either way and it's the lesser of two evils yeah that i don't think so uh, so yeah you might be able to uh debate jesse Moore versus this one-sided hit piece me i mean i they're not going on for a debate they're going on to get a few sound bites interrupt him whenever he's talking about something and, and then move on to the next thing exactly and i think that also like yeah this is remember what i was talking about earlier about the halo effect and about how attractive people are perceived to be uh right uh, this person is clearly very unattractive it's just uh, it is what it is, right? And before anybody makes this, like, I'm making fun of them, I'm missing all of my teeth on this side. Okay? Like, I, I'm not a beacon of uh, looking good. Uh, I'm not an attractive person or anything like that. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I, I, there's a lot wrong with me, too. I'm 6'3", and I used to be 108 pounds. Now I'm 135. I'm still un very severely underweight. Uh, this is not, I don't want anybody to think I'm punching down, but you have to call a spade a spade, and it is what it is, and uh, not very attractive, and a lot of people on Fox News are going to use that against them. Uh, if somebody uh, that came on looking like Giga Chad talking about this, the response from viewers would be very different, and also I want to go and talk a little bit more about the way that these types of these types of like fake news and these uh, news news uh, organizations uh, specifically and very intentionally frame things in a way to discredit someone categorically in the, in the way that they did with this person here. You see what I'm saying? All right, too shabby. Don't be hard on yourself. Well, I'm just saying in case this gets uploaded. Uh, in case this gets uploaded onto YouTube and people think that I'm like being mean to this person, I just wanted to show that, you know, I, I, I'm not speaking from any ivory tower, not even any ivory teeth. <laughs> Let's see, three minute video, 30 minute reaction. Well, yeah, there's a lot to talk about with this video and I think that there's a lot to unpack and, and get into. Uh, I'd actually really like to uh, talk, read some of the comments on this video and, and see what people think because I don't know how many people think the way I do and how many people just get caught in the, um, they see the person look like an idiot and they say, wow, it's fucking stupid. That's all there is to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's that simple. I was way too in depth. Yeah, of course I will. It's a major economic issue. Uh, or sort of address talking points you could better articulate. Well, I, I, it's not about all of that, okay, man? We're closed for a while. Bring up the cleanup from ongoing brigading. We'll be back soon. Well, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's obvious that this person made their movement look stupid. They did. They absolutely did. That is 100% what happened. Uh, they came on and they made the movement look stupid. And they made it look bad. That's what happened. So let's look at some of the comments here and see what people have to say. A uh, person had a chance to the prove to the world the problems of the current woke. Uh, the current woke. God damn it, work. I was saying woke. Uh, work culture, and yet said laziness is a virtue while while looking like that. Well, yeah. I mean, like, for, what is the the well? Is it not well intentioned? Uh, the slow and deliberate man, the virtue of a slow and deliberate man. It's actually like a. It's a Greek philosophy. Like, this is very, very old to actually think about this. But, like, there's, there's, uh, to me, whenever I, I watch something, it's not stoicism. I, I don't think so. Uh, it's something else besides that. And Diogenes? No, I don't think it was Diogenes either. Uh, but the point that I'm making is that I always try to listen to what people are trying to say rather than what people do say because usually whenever people do say things they sound stupid and it's just i find it to be very low-hanging fruit and to be completely honest with you boring to just discuss it that way and so yeah uh nihilism cynicism no that's not what i'm really trying to get at uh, what do you think about um, out-of-control spending and debt the U.S. government? Uh, I think you should probably wait till Hassan goes live tomorrow morning and um, uh, probably ask him, see what he has to say. And, uh, yeah, that's about all it is. Uh, Stokes believe talking less and listening was best. Yeah, but I think that there's a, 
I, I'll, I'll have to look more into this myself. But anyway, um, it, it's saying this is stupid, but saying it, saying this idea is not stupid entirely, but saying it in this way, in this context, and the way that they did, especially in the context of who they are, uh, it makes them look stupid. Yes. Uh, you can see how happy the dude is to have tanked the whole movement in the span of three minutes. Yeah, because most average people, here's the thing, most average people are going to watch this interview and think that anti-work is full of a bunch of 30-year-old dog-walking losers. That's what's going to happen. That that there, there it fucking is. You see what I'm saying? There it fucking is. The subreddit wasn't going to go mainstream regardless. It was getting really big. Uh, I mean, like, what what does mainstream mean to you? Uh, I think that it it was it was getting popular, and talking points from that subreddit you would see in other places on the internet. So um, anyway, let's go back over here and read the rest of this. Can't stop laughing, man. Fox News couldn't hire an actor who would do this job of living up to every single Reddit mod stereotype. This would not look out of place in South Park. Which, I mean, to be fair. That is, tr that is absolutely fucking true. Okay? Um, Reddit mod takes the bait while having absolutely no self-awareness or social skills. Single-handedly setting the worker liberation movement back, then bans critics and calls it a win. Yeah, that's what happens, is that there are a lot of people who... The thing is, like, remember what I was talking about yesterday? About no when to hold them, no when to fold them? And no, if you're going to... If you're going into something... And it's going to be a W or not. And if you know that it's going to be an L, maybe just don't go into it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, just don't go into it at all. And uh, they privated the subreddit on top of all this? Well, of course. Uh, of, of course. Why, why would they? Because there's going to be a million people that are going to go onto the subreddit and laugh at them because they, they basically... There are a lot of people that... Uh, the truth is they work hard at their job and they find it to be off-putting that people uh, like this person here go on and complain about having to work because they are working 60 hours a week to feed their family and this person is complaining about it on Reddit. Uh, it's off-putting and it also is validating for them because they get to see the people that uh, they resent uh, they get to see that type of a person look like, look as stupid as they believe them to be. It plays right into their, uh, their stereotype. It, it does what they want. You see what I'm saying? Wasn't complaining about having to work. He enjoyed working as a dog walker. I think that the spectrum of perspectives that anti-work has from what I've seen is broad. And what I'm saying is, I'm, you, you have to understand what I'm saying. I'm not talking about what he said see um there's what is said and what is heard he says one thing the interviewer distorts it and then people hear something else that's just what happens yeah that that's just what happens there's really all all that's all there is to it uh, pretty funny. The news anchor mocks the job of being a dog walker. His job is literally to read out loud for a paycheck. I don't want to get into that. I I think that it's stupid too. I'm sure that uh, being a uh, uh, being like ha his. I'm sure his job is more complex than being a job uh, just reading off of a teleprompter, and it's probably more complex than walking dogs. But then it's just like this fucking. Uh, it's like an, an oppression Olympics of like, oh, my job is harder. And then, no, my job's harder than your job. And it's like, oh, my God, my job is so hard. And it's like people that are trying to, uh, you know, like have a virtue for how uh, how much they're inconvenienced by their job. I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to do that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're just going to move on. Uh, let's read a couple more comments because, again, I, I, I find this very interesting and I, I wanted to look at this. 
Uh, I'm a dog walker. Waters make every effort not to laugh out loud. Uh, embarrassment is precisely the reason I know, never tell anyone about Reddit. A man spinning awkwardly in a chair, destroying whatever movement he thought he had. Pure cringe and a perfect example of Reddit mods in real life. This guy is exactly what you imagine whenever you imagine Reddit mods. The fact that the mod closed off the subreddit and banned hundreds of people after this interview just puts a cherry on top. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that like, I can understand why the mod would do that because, uh, you know, you have this person and it's like, what do you think the odds are that this person is socially adjusted 90%? They are 90% socially well adjusted. I, I would say the odds for that are zero. Yep, I'd say they're zero. And the truth is that this is a person who uh, is randomly thrust into the public eye and they are made a fool of. Uh, they have more attention on them than they've ever had in their entire life. And it's not even close. And you now have hundreds of people making fun of the way you look, uh, talking shit about you, talking shit about something that you invest your time into. And uh, you're basically in meltdown mode. He said he's autistic. Well, there you go. And uh, that's the way it goes. I mean, listen, I again, like it's it's there's a certain I'll say this, too. Right. Like I, I'm I feel bad for the for the guy. But like at the same time, if you know that about yourself, maybe don't put yourself in this position. Right. Don't go on Fox News if you know that this could happen, it's a trans person. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I'm just, I have no idea. Okay. But the point that I'm making is that uh, these kinds of things, these are intentional. It, it is intentional that it is created this way. And after they put the subreddit on, uh, on private, like, is that a surprise? Uh, no, it's not because they just freaked out. Like, I mean, really, how many of you guys you go on on Fox News in front of millions of people and then everybody like literally thousands of people are making fun of you out of nowhere on one day and it's your name it's like it's your name right it's not like oh this is your avatar and it's actually a picture of Vegeta and no this is it's you it's your real name it's your real face and they're making fun of you as a person uh, this happens to a person and it's very easy to say oh well I would handle it just fine uh, you know I'm such a smart and well-adjusted and intelligent person I could handle this in stride and not freak out at all well one thing that I can fucking say is that a lot of the people that talk shit and then they get called out in chat leave chat or they uh, they turn around then they say oh I'm just kidding man I love you dude or they immediately pussy out in one way or another. And I think it's the exact same thing with, uh, with, with people like this. Is that people think that, oh, I can handle it, I can deal with it. Well, that's nice, but you've never had this happen. You've never had people probably uh, figuring out where you live and calling your phone. Uh, there's because uh, he's using his, his real name I'm assuming so you can look it up in uh, in the white pages or something like that so it's like you 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 do think this out and you can see how damaging this can be for a person it can be extremely damaging like I wouldn't be surprised if a person had this happen to them and they killed themselves because of it and I'm not kidding and I'm not exaggerating either does anybody think that this is an exaggeration what I'm saying. It wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. No, people do it for less. It's a genuine concern. No. So you're exaggerating. He is responsible for his actions. You're right. You're definitely right. He's responsible for his actions. You are 100% right. I'm not downplaying that at all. But let's not, let's not pretend that this isn't a person with a mental disorder. Like, if this person is autistic or something like that, I think that should play at least a little bit. Uh, yeah, it should play a little bit. And, of course, this is a 30-year-old a adult. This is an adult. Like, they are responsible for what happens to them. But in the same way that they're responsible for what happens to them, I would say that the people that are being hostile and going over the line, 
And really, it's not even any one person's fault. I, to be honest with you, I, I find it to be despicable might be a little bit too strong of a word. Uh, uncouth, maybe, uh, of Fox News to air this. It's very low class, in my opinion. And I've had a couple of times where uh, we've brought a viewer onto, uh, I remember one time on Classic, uh, th this is just like a, a personal example. Maybe you guys can remember it. I think I was in Theramore whenever it happened. And we brought this guy, and he had named his character after my character or something like that. And he was saying a bunch of weird stuff. So we brought him into Discord, and it turned out that this person was just, like, actually fucking autistic. And there was something wrong with them. And I muted the mic, and I muted the Discord, and I just said, Okay, look, man, cut it out. We're gonna move this. We're gonna move on, because this is weird. That's, that's my take on it. That's what I think. Fox has no morals or ethics. I, I find it to be that they're all like this. Uh, I think that Fox News might be the most uh, cavalier about it, but I, I think that they all do it. And I think that everywhere does it. I think YouTube does it too. YouTube content creators do it. Uh, I think in some cases Twitch streamers do it. Uh, this is just what happens. And I think that um, you know the larger an organization you are, uh, the bigger your influence is, uh, the higher standard of... Uh, of accountability people have because of the subsequent effect of what you're saying or doing. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I'm saying. And uh, I don't know, do, do you guys see where I'm coming from? Think they're desperate for views, network news is tanking? Yeah, they're all like that. Do you think you do it for content? Do you, do, would I bring this person on for content? It depends. Like, I, uh, like, it de like if I heard that, like, let's say, for example, like, I heard a mod from r slash anti-work wants to come on and talk to you, I would say, yeah. But the thing, because, like, I would have nothing else, there would be nothing else for me to, to base it off of, in a way. There would be no frame of reference that I could judge what kind of a person I'd be talking to. Uh, however... I think that I've had this this happen many times. Uh, it happens. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you some examples of like how I've had to handle this in the past uh, personally. Is that during? It doesn't really happen that much during Allcraft. I think it happened once a long time ago, but that's it. Sometimes I'll watch somebody's YouTube videos, and there's like an example recently of a guy who people didn't like his voice, and they thought his voice sounded like he was gay. And so they kept making comments about how he had a gay voice or I hate this guy's voice. This guy's such a fucking weirdo. I hate this fucking guy. Turn this video off. And, and I, I had to pause the video to stop it to to shut those people down because it's a uh, it makes me look bad whenever you guys not you guys. It's not you guys, because if it was it, you would already be banned. So it wouldn't be you guys in chat. Um, but those guys, uh, those guys made me look bad and that's why i had to remove them okay is an insult is this high school well for a lot of people yeah there are high schoolers that watch the stream and there's people who are 25 and think like high schoolers so yeah that's what happens makes us all look bad yeah it makes the entire community look bad uh he's just excited about the game and didn't like it dumb as fuck yeah and, and like obviously there are like twitter is full of softies well the thing is like i don't think that I think that being soft and having self-respect are oftentimes conflated. Uh, do a pie chart on it? Well, it depends on the kind of pie. It's sad whenever people act like that. Yeah, it is, and, and that's just the way it goes. So all I'm really trying to get at is that, um, you know, I find this very uh, low class, and um, I would expect nothing, nothing less from Fox News. And before anybody of my, uh, you know, I have a lot of conservative people that watch my stream too. And, uh, you know, they're going to say, well, he fucking would say that, but he wouldn't say it about CNN. CNN's just as bad in different ways. Uh, they're just not as cavalier about it. Uh, so I, I don't want to have comments like that uh, about it. Uh, MSNBC, they're all the same to me. Uh, they're, they're all vultures and parasites on society. And, and I think that they have a, a net negative impact on our culture and uh, on society in general. I hate them. So uh, this, this just makes me hate them more. So I, I hope that everybody who reads this article, or sorry, not reads this article, but watches this video, um, think what you want to think about anti-work. But I hope that what I'm saying here makes sense for why this is just 
It's disgusting. It, it, it's just... Th- this is the kind of stuff that makes people look down on America. It makes us uh, look like assholes uh, internationally. It's not good for anybody. I know this is, again, a uh, long video, a long reaction that I've done and everything. It's, it's a three-minute video, but there's a lot that I have to say. And, um, yeah, there you go. Where do you get your news from, or do you just watch everyone? Uh, I watch everyone usually. Uh, I, you know, if you look at, like, who I follow on, on Twitter, uh, I follow a lot of right-wing people, and I also follow left-wing people, too. Uh, usually, if you counterbalance the two points of view, you can find points of similarity, and you can usually assume that if both sides are reporting on the same thing in these types of stories that are very uh, controversial you can assume that those things are probably true and then also reading criticism of the articles and uh, feedback from them because usually uh, you know the internet right how do you get the answer for a question that you want you don't ask the question you give the wrong answer so uh, that's what it is Uh, truth usually somewhere in the middle yeah of course Uh, different agenda can be sound some true in them yeah of course and uh, it's really hard to know what's real and what's not real. Uh, Absolutely. Definitely, man.